Santiago. Hi, Douglas. Thank you for the time, as always. Is this your first time fighting in Paris? And how are you experiencing your time in Paris thus far? How's it going, man? Uh, no, not my first time here. First time fighting here. Uh, so far, so good, man. Great weather. You know, had to walk around a little bit, you know, in the city, you know, beautiful city. So, uh, yeah, making the most of it is going to be good. So what do you make of Costello Fenstein? As he's, of course, ranked. He used to be ranked even higher, but, yeah. you know, at least you can make your middleweight debut against a ranked opponent. What was your first reaction when man. Bellator offered you this fight? I mean, you know me, man. I never say no. You know, I needed a fight. They gave me him. I said yes. Uh, his game, man, he's very, uh, you know, explosive. He's hungry. You know, he's a guy that wants to make his name, you know, in this division, in this, uh, you know, in this promotion. So he's just uh, another tough, hungry fighter. You know what I mean? He's got great training partners. I know his game. You know, I definitely got to be on my, on top of my game, you know, for this fight. So in his last fight, Costello Vasinas had a couple of great leg kicks, which ultimately won him the fight in the second. Mm -hmm. You are, of course, notorious for your kicks as well. Mm -hmm. Douglas, do you think this is going to be a kicking party? Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> you never know until the fight starts. You know, uh, if I see it, I'm throwing. You know, I know he's going to throw the same thing. You know, he throws a lot of kicks, a lot of punches. So uh, it's definitely a, a fight that should be very explosive, you know. Uh, Let's see how it's going to go down. You know what I mean? I'm ready to throw down, so let's see. You are in a big fight against a ranked opponent, but the most attention will go to you moving up in weight, Douglas. Yeah. Did you wish that you maybe would have moved up a bit earlier? And the reason that I'm asking that is mm -hmm. you did great in your middleweight title fight with Musashi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, my whole career, I've always thought, you know... Uh, Middleweight would be the place for me, you know. I've always struggled a lot, you know, to make uh, 170, to make the welterweight. And uh, I think this is good, you know. I feel good right now. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I don't think I ever be the biggest middleweight. You know, I'll be on the smaller size, but at least feel healthier, you know. That's what I want. You know, uh, you know, the last time that I missed weight, man, I was like, man, I this, this can't happen, you know. You cannot miss weight, you know. It's, so I was very upset, you know, with myself on that, you know, in the last fight. So uh, I think this is going to be good, you know. Like I said, I had a great camp. You know, I was definitely feel, feel a lot healthier, you know what I mean? I don't have to cut a ton of weight like I usually do. So uh, I think it's going to be good for me. Yeah, you look so much happier and healthier, Douglas. And uh, did you bring your brother to Paris as well? Yes, Douglas, sir, yeah. and is he already cooking something delicious for <laughs> after the way? You know it, man. You know it. He's always got the, the cooking skills. So he's here. He's here. And uh, Jukon is here. So, uh, yeah, the whole team. The whole team is here with me, man. We're going to do this together as always. I'm going to be there on Friday, Douglas. Cannot wait to see you perform again. Good luck on Fight Night, sir. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Dylan? Hey, Douglas, thank you for the time, man. How was the training camp and how is everything leading up until uh, this coming this week and uh, fight night in general? How's it going, man? Man, it was good. Man, great training camp and um, healthier, you know, eating a lot more, focusing just on training, you know, instead of cutting the weight. So that'll be a huge help, you know what I mean? Uh, but I feel good, man, mentally, physically, everything is on point. And uh, just ready to, you know, cut this, you know, the, the weight that's left for tomorrow morning and then, you know, go to war on Friday. And last question for me, have you done any assessments on your opponent? And if so, you know, what do you think of him as a fighter? Yeah, I mean, I look, you know, a few fights. You know, I'm not a guy that, you know, studies a lot of my opponents. I don't like to keep watching a lot of videos on them when I fight them. Uh, but I'm a little bit familiar with him. You know, he's very, very aggressive, man. He's powerful, a big guy, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I did everything I could to get ready for him. You know, the, coach, the coaches study, study him more. You know, we worked around, you know, and what he's good at. And, uh, man, it's just another great, tough, hungry opponent, you know. There's no easy fights, you know, never been an easy fight, you know. So it's just an, another one of those. Ken? Hey, Lima. Kay Williams for Ken Chronicles Media. Your last four fights have resulted in some unfortunate losses. How do you approach your next fight not being distracted by those losses? Ah, uh, man, for me, you know, it's, like I said, it's part of the game, you know, uh, we play a very uh, 
tough sport, you know, and everybody that, that I fight, everybody's good. You know, I've been fighting the number one, number two guys always, you know. Uh, I think the main thing is with my th with myself, you know. Uh, a lot of times, man, I stepped in there and didn't feel like myself. I don't know why. It's just, you know, camp, everything was great, but it just didn't click, you know. So uh, that's the main thing I got to, you know, get ready for, man. Just be there ready to fight. Forget about everything else, you know. Uh, I'm not even thinking about those losses now, you know. For me, it's in the past. I'm just looking forward to this fight, you know. But uh, the main thing is just to be on my A game, and that's what matters. That's what counts. That's when I perform the best. And also, you talked a little bit about your diet and you being able to eat a lot more, being comfortable. Uh, let's talk about your diet regimen mm -hmm. leading up to this fight. What did you switch out? Um, what did you add? Oh, uh, man, like... The diet's pretty much the the same, you know. I can just can't eat more, you know. Uh, you know, of course, I stay away from the sweets, the fried stuff. I just eat healthy, you know, rice, beans, you know, the regular meat, vegetables. But uh, I'm able to input a lot more food, you know, and that helps with the with the training camp. Because man, as much as we train, you know, eating a little bit of food that's hard, you know, that's hard for me, that's hard for my body, and that's how sometimes I felt, you know, cutting down to 170. But uh, at middleweight, I don't have to think about that, you know. I just can, you know, train as hard as I can, eat, recover, and do it all over again. Uh, and that was the main difference for me, you know what I mean, at, at this middleweight training camp. Best wishes on Friday. 